Yo, what's up YouTube? Are you winning boys? I hope you're winning because on this channel it's all about winning. My name is Bart Harborn to win and today we are going to be probably finishing Astro's Playroom. Uh, at least when it comes to its main story, if we can say that. I'm not sure if this is going to be the last episode um, because um, we still have a lot to do when it comes to collectibles and all the remaining trophies that we need to earn. So we'll see how we go. Um, we might um, do a couple of collectibles in this episode and just finish the platinum in the next episode. I am not exactly sure yet. We'll see how much game we have left to play. So uh, without further ado, I think there is some something uh, or somebody waiting for us in the basement of the CPU Plaza. So we'll head um, down there right now. So far we have done all the four levels and uh, six or eight speedruns that were available to us. So I believe right now all we need to do is to go to the basement. As we've seen in the pre previous episode, all the Astros are really scared. Look, they're shaking. They're very scared of what is behind this evil portal on the other side of the room. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. Let's head right over there and enter the portal. Let's go. We're going back in time to 1994, it seems. To the PlayStation 1 throwback. And we hit the power button. There we have some stairs made out of memory cards. But the atmosphere is very, very weird. I expect something very evil to be happening to us in a moment. And look at the checkpoint here. Well, what do we do? <gasps> oh my god, it's a T-Rex. Oh my god. And the graphics are actually not very good. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you're a child playing your video games, it feels like... Oh my god, we just died? It feels like the graphics are... Oh my god, they are so good! The graphics are amazing! It nearly looks like real life! And you might have been thinking that when you were playing the PS1, but when you look back at those graphics these days, like, look at that... Oh my god, like, look at that T-Rex now! Yeah, no, it's... It's... It's not really lifelike graphics. <laughs> But hey, it's not all about graphics. Not all about graphics. That's why one of my favorite game franchises is probably Fallout and we died again. Yeah, you don't go to Fallout for graphics. Not at all. And we died again. I don't believe it. And we have to start over. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's do it. That T-Rex is quite random, I have to say. I would have expected maybe some, I don't know, PlayStation bosses like Helgast or some boss from Arch Uncharted or something, not, not a random T-Rex. But hey, I guess it's cool. <laughs> All the pixels, it's amazing how bad the graphics are. <laughs> Uh. Okay, let's avoid its tail as it very gracefully moves its bottom towards us. Oh my god. It's actually quite hard to avoid those discs. Now that's easy, but the discs? Um, it's quite, quite difficult. And we lost another life. And another one. Oh. 
I should concentrate more, guys. Oh, I love how the how the screen turns into a four. Four to three. Instead of six to nine. Okay, we avoided the discs, that's good. The first part of it, it's quite easy, but then the second one, I have lots of trouble. Okay, then we hit its eye. And we don't avoid it. Okay, the discs were not too bad this time, but we got hit by the tail instead, so uh, doesn't really make a difference. Okay, then it tilts, and we made it. Yay! That was more difficult than I thought. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <gasps> There's another one. Oh my god. Run! Run! Okay, we get to the next arena. And what now? No! Is just oh so I guess that's the PS2 boss because the graphics are a good bit uh, better than the PS1 okay another spawn of many enemies and some more flying DVDs <laughs> Oh god, so many of them. There's so many of them. Okay, somehow we are still alive. <laughs> and we grab the trophy and <laughs> throw it at it. At the dinosaur. And we destroy its eye, of course. He still has one left. And the Platinum Trophy. Let's deal with the other one. Come on! Nice. And we hold it strong. Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> well done. Well done, Astro. So, I think this is it when it comes to the story of Astro's Playroom. We still have many, many different collectibles and, uh, and stuff to discover, many trophies to, uh, to go before we unlock the Platinum Trophy, so it's all good, but they've really done a great job with this little Astro's Playroom. It's so much more than just a tech demo. I don't think people... It does justice to this project. Calling it just a tech demo. Absolutely not. It's a true PlayStation experience. And a trip to your childhood, whoever owned a PS1 or a PS2, or even a PS3. Okay, so I'm concentrating on getting 
as many coins as I can here because we are going to need them for the rest of our trophies. And this guy just won't give up. And he killed me. <laughs> Imagine if I had to do the boss fight again. Okay guys, I think I'm just gonna cut the video right here. And I'll see you trying to collect some of the collectibles that we still have left. Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. Oh, but there's one more thing. But there's one more thing. What is it? A new artifact. Oh, that's the Pulse 3D wireless headset. Of course, we got the artifacts for the PSP, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4. Why would we not get some for the PS5? So let's continue this journey and discover some more PS5 artifacts. And that's the PlayStation Eye, the PlayStation camera for the PS5. Some more coins in the way just to help us with the platinum. And the uh, DualSense, an amazing controller absolutely amazing and a great leap forward on the part of sony as compared to the previous generation and we pull this one and of course we get the playstation 5 so difficult to get at the time of recording this video but so so worth it and we get another uh, gold trophy, of course. <coughs> and we get it in the PlayStation Labo as well. Congrats, you collected all five key PlayStation artifacts, but your search doesn't end here. Can you track down every artifact? Uh, yeah, we can. But before we do that, let's go to the vending machine and see what else we can, we can buy there. We don't have that many coins, so... Let's see if we can get some puzzles. No, that's... Uh, that's another figurine <laughs> with an Astro in love with a T-Rex. Oh, and these are the different designs for the PlayStation logo. Of course. Look at all of them. I think the, way, the one they chose is pretty much the best out of all of them. Really good choice. And another puzzle. Okay, we ran out of money. Let's see how many more. Okay, we need three more puzzles from the vending machine and then three more artifacts. So we need what? 600 more coins? No, probably more because we get those figurines that I don't think we have any use for them. And we only got two levels complete where we got all the puzzles and all the artifacts. So we have a lot of work in front of us if we need to go for the, if we want to go for the platinum. So, um, yeah, I mean, for those of you guys who just wanted to see Astro's, play, um, Astro's Playroom um, played all the way through, I think this is going to be it. But if you are here uh, for the Platinum Trophy, please stay, uh, please stay here, please keep watching, as we'll be um, cutting the video right here. And then I will be showing you all the different collectibles that we've missed so far. 
while playing this game will complete all the trophies that still remain to be earned and yeah we'll go for our first platinum trophy on the ps5 so for those of you who won't be watching that thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in one of my other let's plays for those of you who want to continue watching the platinum please uh stay tuned for more okay guys so i think there are quite a lot of trophies that we can actually um achieve here in the in the playstation labo i think one of them would be to punch the playstation logo if i'm not mistaken and i am not sure how we can go about that no we need the ps2 slim okay so after punching this logo we should be good to go yeah this way up there if you earned Okay guys, so I think the next trophy requires us to walk under the PlayStation home icon in the PlayStation Labo, so I believe that should be it. Honey, I'm home. Okay guys, so the next trophy here in the PlayStation Labo will include opening up the disc tray of the PlayStation 1, so let's do it. Disc swap. Okay, another one down. Okay guys, we've yet another trophy here in the PlayStation Labo and this time we need to punch this Sony Interactive Entertainment logo to I think reveal another one. Yeah, Sony Computer Entertainment. Cool, super computer. Yet another trophy down. Okay guys, so we still need to get a couple of puzzle pieces and artifacts in the cooling springs area So we'll uh, just jump right into it and try to complete all of the collectibles and find all of them Okay guys, so I think you can see one of the um, Things we are missing here In the cooling springs, which is one of those puzzle pieces I'm not sure how we missed it played playing it the first time, but hey, here it is. One more piece down. And actually, guys, we can go and grab the other piece straight away. Because it's right here behind this pillar. We get another piece of the puzzle. And I believe we only need one more in this world. So, guys, we also have this final uh, puzzle piece in this little level area and it's going to be found right here so this should be it for this area yeah we got all the artifacts and hints or puzzles so look i will see you in cooling springs springy spa yo what's up guys here we are in the next level and we are going to be completing the puzzles in this one we need i believe three more puzzle pieces no two more and one more artifact okay guys so here we have the next puzzle piece all we need to do is jump here to the left hand side and we got it so all we need uh, in this level is one more puzzle piece and one more artifact so guys there is another puzzle piece right here to the right side through the glass all we need to do is jump through here and collect it Okay guys, so we are coming up to another artifact that we missed in our playthrough. This is going to be right here on the right hand side. Okay, and if you see it just here, it's going to be the, let me see, the PS move shooting attachment. Stopper my move will shoot. Cool, so if I'm not mistaken, this is it for this level and I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, so in this level we will need two more puzzle pieces and we got all the artifacts. So I believe that one of the puzzle pieces is actually right here. Yeah, there it is. So we just need one more. Okay guys, so we're just coming up to the next and last puzzle piece in this level, which is right here. And I believe that should be it for this level. It is artifacts and four puzzles so i will see you guys in the next one okay guys so in the meantime we are going to complete another trophy which requires us to juggle one of these balls five times and from what i see this is not gonna be easy okay one 
two, three, four, and five. No, it was actually easier than I thought. Okay, cool. So we got that out of the way. Okay, guys, we're just coming up to another puzzle piece right here. Or actually, it's going to be an artifact, I think. Let me see. We create this. And I believe we need to go here. Oh, yes, that's a puzzle. And we get a trophy for that as well. Okay, guys, so I think we have another um, artifact coming up here on the left-hand side. So many coins here to collect. And then we get this last artifact in this level. And I imagine we'll get a trophy as well. Yes, a silver trophy. And we get the PlayStation Portable. Loves being held. Such a cool little device. So uh, yeah, guys, I think we've collected all collectibles in Cooling Springs. So I will see you in the next level in GPU Jungle. Yo, guys, I think we have another trophy opportunity here. It will require us to fall 30 meters and grab onto something with the monkey. So let's try it. Okay, there's the trophy. Okay guys, so I think we have another puzzle piece coming up ahead. It's just here to the left. And I believe this should be the last one in this GPU jungle render forest indeed. So we'll, I'll see you in the next one. There are flop tree tops. Okay guys, so I think we have another piece of um, puzzle coming up right here. And there is going to be also an artifact right about here. And this should be the last one in this little area. This is the dual shock four, of course. Legend has it, little robots still, or live inside it. Yeah, legend has it. This should be it for this little level. Teraflop tree tops, it is indeed. And I will see you in the next one. Okay guys, I think we have another puzzle coming up here on the left. We need to come here and the puzzle is right here. Okay, so we only need two more and an artifact in this level. Okay guys, I think it looks like we have another piece of the puzzle coming up here on the right. We can just jump right over here. And we just punch this flower. Yeah. Just like this. And we should see another puzzle piece right here. Jesus, I got scared. Okay, there it is. And I believe that's another artifact as well, which is the PS Vita. Loves to have its back stroked. Okay guys, I think we have a chance to do another trophy here, which would be to deflect a projectile using an arrow. So all we need to do is shoot one of those green blobs. Oh, okay, sorry man. Didn't mean to do that, really. Okay, there it is. Ready for the proving. And we die. But hey, the trophy is there. Okay, guys. And we have the last piece of puzzle in this level. Coming up here on the right-hand side after the boss battle. So we just shoot it. It opens up a way for us to get to it. So, this should be it for puzzle pieces in this level. Yeah, we actually completed it. We have all the artifacts as well. So I will see you in the next level. Mount Motherboard. Okay, guys, we've another artifact coming up right over here. We just need to climb these stones and swing ourselves up. And this should be it. Which is the PSVR headset. A new fantastic point of view. Okay guys, right over here, you can see on the right hand side another puzzle piece. We'll get it right now, if we can. Poor monkey, poor monkey. 
and we actually have another puzzle piece right here which appears just like that and we have all the puzzle pieces in this second world we can say okay so coming up here we have another artifact which will be the last one in this world so we will get another trophy and this is a psvr aim controller very nice yo guys so we are actually back at the playstation lab where you can see all the different artifacts and the puzzle pieces appearing on the ground and on the walls um, that we have collected in the first two levels and yeah what we will do now is we'll go ahead and spend the coins that we have earned in the meantime in the vending machine just to see what else we can get okay guys so here i am at the playstation level we got a good few coins from all those different levels that we replayed to get all the hints so we will just use them to hopefully get some artifacts and some puzzle pieces and yeah we got a puzzle piece and a playstation 4 pro how pro can you go good question okay so let's continue see what else we can get another puzzle piece and another one And a new artifact, which is a PSP camera. Portable cameras, they never catch on. And we get a PS4. Lost some weight, but none of the magic. Yeah, true. Much smaller than the PS3. And I believe this is the last one that we will get, which is a trophy. And we get two trophies as well. And some nice fireworks to finish it off. Beautiful. And we can see the rest of the collection here. And the remaining puzzles that we got from the machine. I can see actually quite an easy trophy here. All we need to do is grab this. And we got a trophy, just like the trophy says. So guys, there's also another trophy that we can do right now, which will be climbing on top of the PS move gun. I think it's this last one. So let's climb on top of that and we should be getting another trophy. We are not. Oh, now we are. <laughs> Woof, thank god, I thought it's bugged out or something. Yo boys, so we are actually back at the SSD Speedway Turbo Trail hunting down some of the last pieces of puzzles and artifacts that we have yet to collect. So as you can see, the first one is right next to the beginning of the level. So guys, the next artifact piece is just coming up here. Um, what we will need to do is to launch ourselves in the air and then glide over, if you can look. Uh, right over here there is a platform right above this bigger platform here where we actually need to go we need to stick the landing over here and pull this rope and then we'll be able to get our new artifact and add it to our collection and it's actually going to be the buzz controller the famous quiz game on the ps2 Yo boys, so we are actually fast approaching another collectible here, which I believe will be another artifact. It's actually not behind these boxes, it's behind those boxes. Right over here we have a rope, we have to pull it, and I believe that artifact will show up then. And it's the DualShock 2, I believe, yeah, with the, with the sticks. So boys, we got all the puzzle pieces and artifacts in the first level and we will be passing on to the next one, which is Cation Caves. So we are approaching our first puzzle here in this area. All we need to do is light them, light them up boys. Uh, we just need to light them up. They will explode and reveal this puzzle. So we are fast approaching another puzzle piece and another artifact actually. So uh, the puzzle piece is right here on the right hand side. It's actually a quite a well hidden uh, area. We have not noticed it during our first playthrough, but uh, yeah, it's a bit easier with the guide uh, to collect all those collectibles. And we actually need to break through those lovely pink 
spider webs to collect our new artifact, which will be the Sony PS2 memory card. So boys, we got all the collectibles in Creation Caves, we'll be passing on to Deep Data Space. So we are here in Deep Data Space and the first uh, piece of the puzzle is actually right at the beginning of the level. We need to use a charged up attack just to spin those three flowers. And uh, yeah, the puzzle is right under the platform. Let me just, let, let me, yeah, okay. So boys, the second piece of the puzzle is actually also next to the beginning of the level, right behind this pillar. So we should only have one artifact left to collect here. And the last artifact can be collected once we uh, pick up this gun. We need to go back um, quite a bit actually, jump down, jump down here and break the glass, pull the rope, the standard thing and we get the new artifact which is the eye toy camera which will keep your granny entertained don't ask me how it will so boys we actually got all the collectibles in deep data space we'll be passing on to orbital obstacles so here we are in orbital obstacles and we will collect i believe a piece of the puzzle right here i am not quite sure how we missed it during our first playthrough and we died that is always refreshing but it doesn't matter because we can just edit the video out come back over this way and magically we can get our artifact without too much delay so all we need to do is go down this little icy route then we break the ice ignite this guy wait for him to explode and here we go we get the new artifact which is the singster microphone so guys we actually finished the ssd speedway and we are at the memory meadow at the first level of the memory meadow we have still quite a couple of artifacts and puzzle pieces to collect here the first one is right over here normally we would proceed uh straight forward but we, you can actually jump on those ledges that you have seen before and you pull this rope and you receive a new artifact which is the PlayStation mouse. I did not even know that this thing existed, but you will have a ball with this. So guys, just for a change, we have actually another trophy opportunity coming up here, just as we get rid of this guy. As you can notice, it's raining. There's a bus stop. We take cover from the rain and the trophy should pop. There it is. Another trophy out of the way. And we also need to use the bus stop to access the last piece of the puzzle missing in this level. So guys, that's about it for Gusty Gateway. And we will be passing to our last level, the last level where we need to collect anything, fast lane fields. So the first piece of the puzzle is actually coming up here on the left hand side. It's right near to the beginning of the level. Uh, here it is. So normally to continue this level you would go there to the right but you actually need to go to the left here to access this new artifact uh, marked by the dangerous skull, it's a dangerous road ahead and we get the new artifact which is the PlayStation memory card so long overnight pauses. So boys that's actually it for artifacts in Astro's Playroom and we are actually on the way to collect the last piece of the puzzle which will be here right on the right hand side. We just need to keep to this side make this jump and here it is the last puzzle and we actually get a trophy for collecting all the puzzles and we'll also get a trophy for collecting all the puzzles and all the artifacts so to finish up the platinum we only have a few trophies to go and yeah here we go so we are actually back in the cpu plaza this trophy is quite simple all we need to do is collect a couple of astros around us and then attack 10 of them in a single spin attack and the trophy pops so guys the next trophy is actually quite similar we are here in the cpu plaza where we need to gather all the different characters around us and from what i understand we need to actually punch the glass which will make the guy on the bottom quite angry and he needs to oh yes knock everyone down and we get the trophy yo what's up boys 
so here we are after finishing all the artifacts and all the puzzle pieces and we will go to the PlayStation Labo for one last time to just look at all the different artifacts and uh, the puzzle pieces uh, we have found. Congratulations Seeker, you have found every artifact. And there we go, the murals are complete. Amazing, the whole puzzle is complete. Take a break and enjoy the fun and colorful history of PlayStation. So yeah, uh, just to finish off the Platinum, we really have very little left to go. All we need to do is finish up a couple of trophies. Uh, and I believe only one is left in the PlayStation Labo. So all we need to do is punch the VR headset and look through the lens and there is the trophy. And we are back to Cooling Springs for one last time. All we need to do is a very simple trophy. Once you see this pool over here, we need to jump on the highest platform and then jump into the water in a glorious dive. And then the trophy should unlock. As you can see, I kind of failed here in the first instance, but as we, okay, here as well, I kind of failed. But here we go, we are on the highest platform and we dive into the water and the trophy is there. Helldiver. So here we are guys in that little area at the end of Cooling Springs where a couple of fountains can be found. All we need to do is jump on one of them and the trophy unlocks. So the next trophy we can do in this icy area, namely we need to go ice skating and do the spin attack and then jump three times and the trophy should unlock. There it is. So right after the last trophy we actually get to do another one. We need to destroy this Astro's snowman and then we need to take that snowball and don't make it fall into the water. We kind of need to push it around a bit, this little island, and then the snowball, of course, gets bigger. And when it gets big enough, we get a trophy. So here we are in another icy area. All we need to do for this trophy is to go here to the left, pull the string, and we actually get the bow here. Um, I kind of missed it when playing through the game. And all we need to do is shoot, I believe, eight rabbits that are just hopping around this area. We have two down, six more to go. There's the third one. Kinda fail. Third one gone. We have five left. There are a couple of them on the cliffs. That's four, that's five. Only three more now. But they're not that easy to find. They're actually hiding from us, jumping around. Not so easy to hit them. And you can fail like me and just slide down. Let me see. Where can we find the last three rabbits for this trophy? Um, no, not here. Ah, there they are. Okay, so three more to go. Let's make it two. Let's make it one. And there is a trophy. Adequate, boy. Yo, boys, so here we are back in SSD Speedway. We actually have one more trophy to go here. One more trophy to unlock before the Platinum. All we need to do is grab this gun and I believe do the spin attack. And then while we spin, we need to shoot as we spin in a glorious mayhem of destruction. The trophy should unlock and then we, of course, will get the platinum trophy. So yeah, it's been quite a journey with this Astros Playroom. Not a very long platinum, but at the same time, a very enjoyable one. So there we go, Wild Arms, Trophy earned. And this should be followed by the Platinum. There we go guys, that's the first Platinum on the PS5. We've only done everything in Astro's Playroom, but this is what this channel is all about. Completing everything, winning everything, 
and trying not to fail too much. So I hope that you enjoyed this adventure in Astro's Playroom, it's one of the many to come to the channel and yeah, those of you who stayed and watched this video until the end and watched me get all the collectibles and the platinum trophy, thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you in some of my other let's plays. My name is Bart, or Born to Win, and this was Astro's Playroom.